to have an operational setup, you will need one or two shake tables, an amp pack and a volt pack amplifier, a Q2 USB DAC, Q8 USB DAC, a laptop with the appropriate software loaded, and a pair of emergency stop switches. Wiring the shake table setup takes a fair amount of wires, shown in the configuration here, which you can pause at any time to refer to. To begin wiring the amp pack, plug one end of an RCA cable into the current sense port, and plug the other end into the analog input 4 on the Q8 USB DAC. Next, plug one end of an RCA cable into the amplifier command port and plug the other end into the analog output zero on the DAC. Hook up the electronic stop switch to the e-stop port on the amplifier. Next, plug one end of the four pin amphenol cable into the load port on the amplifier and make sure you tighten it securely. Plug and tighten the other end of the cable into the shake table motor port. Then plug the single end of the 16 pin I.O. cable into the amplifier. And then proceed to plug the two 8 pin digital in and out heads into the appropriate ports. Next, secure one end of the DB15 cable into the from device port on the amplifier and tighten both sides with a flathead screwdriver. Take the other end and secure it into the shake table, once again tightening with a flathead screwdriver. After that, connect one end of the 5-pin DIN cable into the encoder port on the amplifier and plug the other end into encoder 0 on the DAC. Next, plug in one end of the 6-pin mini DIN cable into S1 on the amplifier and plug the other end into the shake table's accelerometer module. Using another 6-pin mini DIN, plug in one side into the S2 port on the amplifier and plug the other side into the first story structures accelerometer. Using one more 6-pin mini DIN cable, plug it into S3 port on the amplifier and proceed to plug the other side into the second story's accelerometer of the structure. Finishing up the amplifier using one end of an RCA cable, plug into the S1 port and plug the other end into analog input zero. Using another RCA cable, plug one end into S2 and plug the other end into analog input 1 on the DAC. Using the last RCA cable, plug one end into the S3 port on the amplifier and the other end into analog input 2 on the DAC. Moving on to the volt pack amplifier, plug one end of the 6 pin DIN cable into the 2 load port for amplifier 0. Plug the other end into the first story motor port of the structure. Using another 6-pin DIN cable, plug one end into the 2 load port 
for amplifier 1, and plug the other end into the second story motor port for the structure. Next, plug in one end of an RCA cable into the amplifier command port for amplifier 1 and plug the other end into analog output 2 on the DAC. Using another RCA cable, plug one end into the amplifier command port for amplifier 0, and plug the other end into analog output 1 on the DAC. Finishing up, plug one end of the 5-pin DIN cable into the first story card's encoder port. Plug the other end into encoder 1 on the DAC. Using another 5 pin DIN cable, plug one end into the second story card's encoder port and plug the other end into encoder 2 on the DAC, after which the wiring is complete. First, we'll start off by opening the Shake Table 2 folder and selecting LabVIEW as it's the most user-friendly method to operate the shake table. For demonstration purposes, we're going to use the Operation Files folder. Navigate to the Run Shake Table 2 test for the Q8 USB DAC and wait for LabVIEW to open and load all relevant project and header files. This may take a while. Once open, we can see that there are many different panels present in the workspace that are used to determine the functionality and state of operation of the shake table. After selecting run, you should use the manual knob on the side of the table to test the extreme limit positions of the table. Turn the table until it is in the rightmost position and ensure that the right indicator lights up on both the computer and on the amplifier. Do the same for the leftmost position, again ensuring that the indicators light up. Once complete, return the table to the home or center position and ensure that the home indicator lights up. Next, toggle the enable amplifier switch button on the computer and ensure that the amp status is green on the program and on the amplifier itself. Then, briefly press apply small voltage and ensure that a voltage command is displayed on the computer as well as seeing that the table moves slightly to the left. Again, we'll start off by opening the Shake Table 2 folder and selecting LabVIEW. Using the Operation Files folder, navigate to the Run Calibration for the Q8 USB DAC and wait for LabVIEW to open and load all relevant project and header files. Again, this may take a while. Once open, we can see that two plots are on the front panel, indicating the motor voltage being applied to the table and the position of the table relative to the center position. Before starting calibration, ensure that the emergency stop switch is disengaged by twisting the stop clockwise. Hold down the calibration button on the stop and continue to hold while running the program until the table is calibrated. Once the following message appears, the table is at the center position. 